Hello again, race fans. You know, a little while back we released a video on our latest club track for 2022, and we got a lot of inquiries about the tunnel. Uh, so many, in fact, that we decided we'll just make a separate video just on that. So stick around, and we'll give you some deets on the construction of that. In order to drop the track below grade, we're using the Carrera Bridge sections. I think Carrera calls it the uh, Ramp Bridge Crossing, uh, but of course we're using this opposite of his original intention of going up and over track, instead we're going down underneath the table. Now we're not using this in the stock configuration where the concave and convex sections of the assembly are joined directly. Uh, that only gives us about 4 inches of elevation change, and we're going to need more than that. Now, if it only had to drop far enough just to clear the sheeting on the top of the table, that'd be fine. But it needs to clear the frame as well because the track will be running across a seam where two tables come together. And we also have a cross member uh, through the middle of the table as well. So, at four inches of the frame and the sheeting plus an additional three inches to clear the cars is what we're going to need. So we took a standard straight piece of track and put it in between the concave and convex pieces of the bridge assembly. And that provides us the approximate 7 inches of drop that we need in order to clear the bottom of the table. I started filming underneath the table to show the construction of the support for the track and realized I really can't get camera in there very well to get the angles and so forth so I decided I'll just go ahead and make a 3D model to show how this is put together. Okay, here's a 3D representation of our table layout, or three of the tables in our layout actually. And uh, these cutouts here are obviously where the, the track goes down underneath and then comes back up on the other side. Now these cutouts are uh, 22 inches long by 8 inches wide, which is about a quarter inch wider than the uh, track itself. And uh, I'm just going to move these tables out of the way so we can get a closer look here. And then also move the top from this table and we can get a look underneath. So one side of the tunnel here is supported with a 2x4 that runs a full length of the, of the table here. Now this 2x4 has been ripped down from 3.5 inches to 3 inches. A couple of notes about taking this 2x4 down to 3 inches tall. Not only was 3 inches the amount of drop that we needed, not that 3.5 would have been a problem, but also this dimensional lumber have radii on the corners slightly reducing the mating area when connecting to another piece, but also there may be a slight curvature on this face as well. After ripping it down, that edge is now super square and we have maximum surface area where the shelf or the floor or the support will be attached. Okay, back to our 3D model here. I have this in somewhat of a disassembled state so we can show how it goes together. That's that 2x4 uh, that's lifted up underneath the frame of the table. And then these here represent uh, five inch wood screws and those five inch wood screws if I can select there it is uh, are driven up through that 2x4 and then attach uh, that 2x4 to the frame on either end and then also the middle where we have the cross member and the deck is a piece of OSB we had left over and this is one foot wide by eight feet long it's half inch OSB and that is then just placed up and attached to the underside of that 2x4 with wood screws. And now for the other end, or on the other side of this tunnel, uh, we don't want to add a, a 2x4 here. That'll close it off completely. We won't be able to get in to lay the track or get a car out if we have to. So we need to leave it open, but do need it supported. So we use these framing ties. These are used in house construction to join two pieces of lumber perpendicular to each other. And those are secured in three locations underneath and then attach to the deck. Okay, we're underneath the table for real now, and we have this poster board on the open edge of the uh, of the tunnel or the support deck. And the only reason we have this is because the original video, we had an on-car cam going through the tunnel and we wanted to make it look enclosed. Uh, but it is only stapled on the bottom edge of the deck, so we can fold this out of the way if we have to to get a car that's stuck. And also, it keeps the cars from falling off and hitting the floor if there is some sort of a weird incident in the tunnel. But we'll probably eventually just take this off and put a guardrail on the track instead. And also here you can see one of those framing ties that we showed in the animation. So the main span is supported here by the deck, but what about between 
where the deck ends and where it runs up to the top of the table. And it definitely needs support. I took the supports out we had in here just to show you exactly how flimsy that is. So we need something there. So instead of making some sort of a complicated wood support for those tracks, we uh, designed and 3D printed these. And uh, they take the career track clips in these pockets here. And those will plug into the side of the track. And then, so we have a set, a mirrored set that would go on the other side as well. And then you can see how that support then holds it at the you know, correct angle. So when we look down in here, uh, this one actually comes over the top and hangs on the top edge of the table. And the bottom one is a little bit different. And so yeah, you can see how those clip in, and this is the one that goes up and hangs over the top edge of the table. Now this one is actually beyond the opening, and then so this one just has an undermount flange with a screw up into here. I'm going to screw up into here uh, to hold this, and so you can see this is real solid. If you have a 3D printer and you're interested in those, uh, check the description. I'll make these files available on our website. These lights are just those uh, self-adhesive LED strips, uh, the ones that come with a, a control box and a remote. You can change the colors and the modes and that kind of thing. And uh, even though they're self-adhesive, they don't really stick that well, especially to this rough OSB. So if you do something like this, you're definitely going to want some additional adhesive. Otherwise, they are going to fall down. I got these from Amazon. I'll put an affiliate link in the description if you're interested. Even if you're not going to put them in a tunnel somewhere else on your racetrack, uh, it looks pretty cool, or even just your, your workshop or wherever. That's it for the tunnel construction video. Hopefully this answers any questions from the first video. Be sure to give us a like, it really helps the channel, and we'll see you next time.